All right, Pisces, let's do a quick uh, weekend energy checkup. Let's see what's going on for Pisces for Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Pisces, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces, please. I'm being called to grab a card out of the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck. So let's get one Oracle card, please, for Pisces for this weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What message do you want to give to Pisces today for Friday? Saturday and Sunday. Too many. Single jumping cards only will be taken in this reading. Spirit, you know how I roll. So we get the raindrop. Drop top. Smoking a coconut hot box. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay. Every time I see this card, that's what I think of. I'm sorry. It's a song. If you guys don't know it, then you don't. Okay. But number 39. Take a chance on them. If anyone has a reason to keep their guard up, it is you. People have been known to mistreat you, and like any rational person, you finally got tired of it, went back inside, locked the door. But you weren't supposed to stay out of the rain forever. No matter how terrifying the prospect may seem, you may need to put yourself out there again. Whoever it is that you're thinking of, they can be trusted to walk with you through the storm. Okay, Pisces. Okay. Let's see, shall we? That was a big breath. Pisces. What's going on with Pisces for this weekend, Spirit? Please show me what I need to see. What's going on with Pisces for this weekend? <clears throat> Single jumping cards only spirit. You know how I roll. The polar bear. Looks like we got some new energy busting out. I like it. I like it a lot. Hmm. So tower, the mask, and the obstacle or the mountain. So there may be some type of like financial or government things going on. Someone here may be wearing a mask or being false, this may be an obstacle to overcome. It may be surrounding a home or a house or an inheritance, but we have the rat in reverse. That's good. Okay, so this looks good for you, Pisces. Ooh, lusty whip energy. Let's see, or strong anger, strong love or hate. That could also be a factor here. I will get into these cards in just a moment. Let's get three more cards from the Kipper deck. I drew a blank there for a second. Three cards. What else do you want to tell Pisces in regards to this reading for this weekend? Pisces. Hope you guys are doing something fun. Oh, we got the coffin card. It was in reverse and then it spun into the upright. So I'm taking it. Okay. Two more. Privileged lady with the polar bear. That's what's up. There could be some money coming in. You could be a privileged lady in high motherfucking honor. That's right. Privileged lady. There's some type of change here as well. Um, 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 let's see. Number 43. So the labyrinth. Okay. When you think you have done everything you can, you hit a wall and you have to start again. I'm the labyrinth that keeps you going through the trial and error to the end. There are no shortcuts to success, my friend. All right, so somebody here may keep feeling like they're hitting a wall, like they're going around and around when it comes to some type of success or some type of achievement. However, when one door closes, there's always another one that opens, okay? So if that door didn't work, go try a different way. There's always, when there's a will, there's a way, all right? Uh, number 15, the bear. Random side note, where I'm about to go, there was a bear sighting. So I thought this was the polar bear card, but apparently it's just a bear. So it's a totally polar bear. Anyways, 
I am the power and the strength, the health and protection. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Your finance is my field. Your food is my concern. My bad side comes out when you see negative cards around. Hmm. So yeah, there's some type of strength, health, and protection here surrounding your finances. Um, privileged lady, you could be someone who's very privileged, all right? With this coffin card coming out under this labyrinth card, I feel like something here is over, something here is ending. But like I said before, when something ends or one door closes, another door opens, okay? So if you find yourself at a dead end somewhere, doesn't mean give up. It doesn't mean stop. It doesn't mean, that, oh my God, things are over, okay? And I know that we all get in that energy and sometimes, yes, it feels like that sometimes. But this is trying to show you to find the strength to find another way. Find another way. Obviously, that pathway wasn't meant for you. Turn around, go back. Even if it seems like, fuck, I'm backtracking shit. Like, you know, you know, I did all this work just to end up nowhere. You know, okay. Okay. It wasn't meant for you. So either way, you're going to hit a dead end. So be happy that it's ending now. Try and change your perspective about a situation. All right. So let's go to number 23 with the rut in reverse. All right. I like it. So, okay. The mice. Sorry, little guy. I'll hold it in the upright for the sake of you guys. Um, you don't want me in your house. You don't want me in your blouse. I bring loss. I bring theft and destruction and decay. I am your stress and anxiety. I am your worry in society. I am your nuisance. I am your pest. I bring sickness to your nest. So you may have been dealing with some type of nuisance in your life. Um, <laughs> all right. You could have suffered through some type of a loss here. Uh, there could have been theft. Again, I did see something in that other deck about, um, I forget, but uh, something surrounding a house. I got to sneeze. All right. Either way, there's some type of high honor here. So, you know what this is telling me? This is telling me someone tried to cause some type of destruction, chaos, upheaval, sickness, ill health. You got the fucking bear here, all right? You persevered. You are someone, you are a privileged person. You are a privileged lady, privileged man, whatever the case may be, that wasn't meant for you. So whatever somebody tried to cause for you, you're being held in high honor, okay? You are someone of high honor, so jokes on these mutter scunts, all right? Someone tried to close some type of doors for you, get you off your pathway, perhaps, cause endings and delays in your life. You found another way. You persevered. That's my Pisces. <laughs> okay. Raindrop. Drop top. Let's see. Holy Spirit, can we clarify this read, please? Why is the labyrinth here? I honestly feel like whatever some whatever destruction someone tried to cause for you, they didn't know who the fuck they were fucking with, but with high honor. You're somebody who um, you may be held in high regard in the spiritual realm and the 5D realm. You know, people do that shit. Like, they try to cause chaos and destruction in someone's life. And then when they, they persevere through it, you get some people that keep trying to like bring somebody down. Like, how dare you? Like, whatever. <laughs> but they, so people, people do shit and they don't really know who they're fucking with. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because whoever I'm talking to, you're fucking privileged. You got this polar bear. You got this great strength, health. Your finances here are protected. Don't let that... It's like somebody poked a bear, all right? Because the polar bear also talks about, um, I don't fuck with you. <laughs> all right. Um, my bad side comes out when you see negative cards around. So somebody uh, may not want to see your bad side. Some That may be good. Somebody may be giving up. With this rat in reverse, I feel like somebody may be giving up. Somebody may be realizing who the hell you are. I don't know. But um, I feel like, somebody poked a bear like you poked a bear thinking it was like a cute cuddly bear and someone bit back someone like stood up to somebody or somebody like somebody got and got a um a reaction that they weren't expecting all right show me this labyrinth can you clarify this labyrinth emperor so aries energy father figure a boss this could be somebody in authority a leadership role tell me more 
It's like take control of the situation. If one door closes, the emperor isn't the emperor because he, you know, um, is, is naive or he gives up or he's not a go-getter or whatever. This is someone who will take charge of the situation. This is someone that um, can run a business, a CEO, somebody who, who uh, is in an authoritative position, someone who is held in high honor, all right? Or this could have been a father who tried to do this to you or a boss or somebody in, in a position of power. Page of Wands, strong fire energy here, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, there's a new opportunity here with this five of swords. So if this is a, a father or a fire sign or somebody or a boss or somebody who's trying to like close doors for you, it's because it was never meant for you in the first place. So don't hold, um, this person is like somebody here maybe trying to play mind games, trying to win at all costs with this five of swords, or this is like, by all means necessary, there's a new opportunity coming for you, coming in for you. That's going to allow you to, to move up in your position and your ranking or something, or this is somebody in a position of power. It's like, you can't knock the emperor off his throne, right? The emperor is someone who's strong. It's like when one opportunity closes, someone finds another one by all means. It's like, you know, stand up and fight, stand your ground. This dude has all these people's swords and one in his hand. He's like, bitch, try me. <laughs> okay. Show me this polar bear. I kind of like this read. Show me this polar bear. Side note, some of y'all may be forgiving somebody who, because uh, I have this forgive card up here. I feel like you've learned a lot about self-love, self-care. You've learned how to be alone. Surrounded yourself with love in a loving environment. But spirit is saying you can take a chance on them. The tower. Yeah. This bear brought the tower. Scorpio energy. It's like someone poked a bear and someone's falling from grace. Something blew up in someone's face. Something here happened suddenly. Came as a shock to someone. Like, ooh. Somebody may have caused a tower moment in your life. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces tried to cause an ending to your business, to your family, to your home. Somebody may have been doing like something under the moon or something, doing something in secret. We'll uh, come back to that. Show me this rat in the reverse. Seven of Cups. Somebody here is... Remember what I said? Um... Seven of Cups can talk about having a lot of options. It can also talk about some type of confusion surrounding these options or many choices, um, delusions, confusion. Someone tried to cause like some type of confusion, some type of chaos in your life. Um, this may have been someone who had a lot of options. And someone may also be confused as to, like, why their tactics didn't work. Seven of Coins. It's like, how are you still planting good seeds? How are you still investing? How are you still um, picking pentacles off your tree when we, like, burnt your tree down? Well, you didn't see I had another one growing, bitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's the energy I'm channeling, y'all. So y'all don't like cuss words. You should just not watch my channel because I am not going to sugarcoat or hold it back. Okay. <laughs> the magician, it's like, because you know who I am. Do you know who I am? I look like shit right now. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going camping. I'm excited. I ain't getting pretty. All right. If someone's like, do you know who I am? I'm the motherfucking magician, okay? I will manifest whatever it is that my heart and mind desires. Someone burnt your tree down, but you have you already had another one growing. Like that's what they failed to realize. I plant multiple seeds and they're all good. Mm. How you like that? How you like that? Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm sorry. Coffin. <laughs> Show me the coffin. 
Hangman, someone tried to, ooh. someone tried to keep you stuck and cause some type of an ending for you. I hope, okay, we're not getting into that, but show me the coffin. Ace of Wands, but you're like, bam, bitch, I bust out with this new beginning. Like, I've got new opportunities. It's like somebody who tried to keep you stuck, you just like created a new opportunity for yourself. All you did, like, by trying to put me in the ground, all you did was create a new opportunity for me. That's all you did. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. Now I'm enlightened. Now I see who you are. Now you can go. Sayonara, bitch. All right. Show me the coffin. The world. What am I talking about? When one cycle closes, another motherfucking opens, right? That's what the world talks about. Success, victory, achievement, doing something world now, travel, uh, whatever. This can, this is also two tens and a one. So it's when, you know, someone closed many cycles for you, or you may have closed a couple of doors for me, but guess what? I got another one, another one, another one. And I got another one. Why? Because I'm that privileged person. Do you know who I am? I'm a motherfucking magician. I pull rabbits out of hats, literally. Thank you. Nine of cups. I'm happy. This is you, Pisces. Piscean energy, the privileged lady, the privileged man. I'm happy. I have wish fulfillment. I get what I want. Do you know who I am? Tell me more. nine of wands eight of pentacles so somebody tried may have tried to somebody may have um wanted you to give up on something that you were working on or something at work this could have been a work situation somebody wanted you to give up whatever it is that you're good at whatever it is that you're working on i see you focused here i see you working very hard but someone was trying to get you to give up But the magician doesn't give up. He finds another way to manifest. Show me high honor. Raindrop, drop top. Yeah, you're being patronized. Money coming in, money going out. Okay. <sighs> Having enough to give to others. Four of wands. The chariot and the empress in the reverse. So this could have been a mother figure, Cancer, Taurus, Libra, Leo, King of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Somebody was trying to stop somebody from being this empress. But this is someone who's stable. Things are moving forward for this person. The chariot card moving forward in a positive direction. This could be, you know, your business taking off, but somebody tried to cause like you cause some type of instability. But, but again, it's like the strength card. You're stronger than you knew. You're taking action or it was a fire sign that was holding back from you in a family dynamic. But judgment day is here. All right. Something got blocked. You turned your back and decided to walk away and focus on your pentacles. Single, stable, self-sufficient, new opportunities. You're the fucking star. You've healed the situation. You're very successful. All right. Someone tried to keep you trapped and bound, but you're the high priestess and you already know to. You already know to. Flip the roles. Okay. If you're a man or woman and a woman did this to you, then flip the roles. Either way. Pisces, this is you being this privileged person. Someone tried to have you give up on something that you were good at or something that you were working on or give up at a job or something that you were passionate about. But I see things moving forward very quickly for you into some type of stable union, possibly. Why is the Empress reversed over here? Somebody was trying to keep you from growing, keeping you from your abundance, but the temperance is here. It's like there's an angel. You're an earth angel or something here is being balanced and restored. Two cards, the fool and the wheel. Someone, someone made uh, some type of a.
a risky decision and created bad karma for themselves. That's what they didn't see. Somebody here was blinded from the truth, literally. Five of Wands. What is the Five of Wands? When they tried to create conflict or drama or there's people competing here and somebody's like not seeing the bigger picture. Five of Wands, Queen of Swords. Could have been with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or somebody here is making a head over heart decision to cut out the drama. Somebody, somebody lied on an empress and tried to cause some type of instability. But this is someone who is very patient, very balanced. Somebody had blinders on. They weren't seeing the situation clearly. The only, you have a queen of swords out here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and then you have an emperor to an empress. This could have been an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What is up with her who's causing a bunch of drama? Page of Pentacles, maybe surrounding children or child support. Ten of Wands, yeah, burdens, blockages, blockages and delays here. Five of Pentacles. Page of Swords, this person is watching you have some type of new beginning and they're feeling left out in the cold from a situation. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it here. Let's get a couple fortune cookie cards to close this reading out. Spirit, what else do you want to tell Pisces in regards to this reading for this weekend? Baby, don't worry about a thing because every little thing is going to be all right. All right, so we got the burnout. Your hard work. Your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, or health professional to try and maintain a healthy lifestyle. So, y'all, don't be stressing yourself out. Don't let this person stress yourself out. I feel like you've persevered, and that could be what's causing, like, um, it's like you feel like you, you kept hitting dead ends, but you kept going. So you may have, like, neglected your health. Um... And you may need to, like, go get an annual or something like that, all right? What else? Signs. Your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. All right, so, yeah, whatever this is, it's temporary. Te travel. Long-distance communication will open up your life. Exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. If it helped, resonated, gave you clarity or guidance in any way, please let me know, and I will see you guys in the next reading. Peace.